In this video, I will teach you how to create a public WhatsApp robot. First make sure you have Heroku account as well as GitHub account. Link on how to create the account is in the description box below. Also you should have another device to scan from, either a mobile phone, or PC. As usual, WhatsApp bot got many advantages. To know the advantages of using WhatsApp robots, I have included the link in the description box below as well as, of that to create a private WhatsApp robot in case you don't like a public one. Otherwise to create a public bot, open and search in Google, Ragnarok MD, then select the first option. And it will drop you to this page. From here, scroll down till you find GetQR. The QR code is essential since it will enable the connection between WhatsApp and the robot under the link device. So you should scan the QR code using another device to be able to get the session ID. When the QR code is ready, open your WhatsApp which you want to link to the bot. Go to the linked devices and scan the QR code to add it. Wait till the QR code is scanned. When done, open your favorite browser and paste there the Heroku link and search, I have included the Heroku link in the description box below. Make sure you copy paste it when you reach this stage. Now, it will open Heroku site. From here, fill the page correctly as shown. On the app name, enter any name starting with small letter. Then scroll down. Next is the Heroku API key. To get this, click on your account profile at the top right corner. Then long press on account settings and click on open in incognito tab. In case you have enabled Celesphus authentication, follow the prompts. Go to your Celesphus authenticator. Copy the code. And enter the in Heroku login page to be able to verify the login. After logging in successfully, scroll down and copy that API key. Now go back to Heroku and paste the API key in the fill-in. Under Heroku API name, scroll up and copy the app name you had created earlier. Now paste it. On mode, you can toggle between public and private mode. This means either public bot or private bot, so depending on your choice, pick one. Since I want it to be public, I will type public. 
on session ID, go to WhatsApp and copy it. Session ID is sent after scanning the QR code as we already did. Copy the session ID and paste under session ID. On sudo, you can add numbers that you wish to control the bot. When done, click on deploy app. The deployment process will start, it will take several minutes depending on the speed of your internet. Wait till the process is over. When it is successfully deployed, click on Manage App. Then click on Resource tab, the second tab from left. From here, let's do some tweaks to make the bot faster and efficient. Click on Change Dino Type and change it from Basic to Professional and save it. Also modify the Heroku Postgres down below. Click on Remove Add-on. Type your app name and remove it. Now under Add-ons, search for Heroku Postgres. On values, select premium 2 which is worth 350 United States dollars. Next step, submit order form. Now the new modified Heroku Postgres will start updating. This will take few minutes depending on several factors such as internet speed. Wait till it's done, to be able to get the 350 United States dollars or any other amount you wish to use. Watch my video on how to use Heroku for free. The link to that video is in the description box below. When the Postgres is only updated, click on pen like icon and change the dyno count to 1 and click on confirm. Thereafter, click on the more option and press on view logs. Now the application logs will start being downloaded and pushed. Wait for several minutes for the process to end. When it's done, now you can test the bot see if it's working. You can check whether there are updates. You can play around with commands of the bot. To get the command list, type dot list and you'll get them all. You can as well toggle between public and private mode by using mode command. The commands are many. To know how some of them work, I have included a separate video for that in the description box below. That is it, if the video was helpful, click on that like button as well subscribe to the channel. Cheers.